What's up, YouTube? This is DBZ49 bringing you a Bujin deck profile. Um, a lot of people say it's a helmet deck, and I kind of disagree. And um, it's a really good deck. It's really underrated. It's kind of a rogue, rogue deck, but it has a lot of potential, and it gives a lot of decks troubles these days. So without any further ado, let's get into the deck. So first off, we have Triple Yamato. Pretty obvious. He is your primary card. He helps you search and dump, and uh, you pretty much, people say you sit on him. Yeah, you could say that, but he exes into cards like Bugenti, Susuano, whatever, and just overall just makes plays for the deck. Next you have two Mikizuchi. Um, he's a he's pretty big, 900 attack, and he helps you get your spell or trap Bujin cards, and the only ones are Bujin Carnations. Um, so yeah, it helps speak to the deck, and he's a Beast Warrior. Bujin card. And the last for the Bujins, you have one Arasuda. Um, he's alright. Um, once you search with Yamato, you can uh, draw a card and then discard another card, so he helps speed through the deck. I don't run Hiram. Reason being is I feel like she ruins card advantage and um, she's kind of expensive, so I don't really find a need to have her, and I have not that much space in the deck, so, so yeah. And then next we have three Crane. Um, it's your honest of the deck. Then you have double hair. Um, you can banish this card during either player's turn to uh, prevent destruction once per that turn uh, for a Beast Warrior Bujin monster. Next, you have two turtles. Um, this helps you uh, negate a targeted effect to one of your Bujin monsters. So that's that's helpful, and this happens in the grave, and you can banish any time. The last of the last of the Bujenji monsters, you have one Quillen, pretty beast card. Um, during your turn, you can banish this from your graveyard to target one face of card your pro controls and destroy it. So that comes in handy. And then lot, uh, uh, then you have double honest. All your monsters are light, so yeah. And then last of the monsters, you have double maxi for draw power. Onto the spells, you have Triple Tanky to search out your Yamato or Mikazuchi or whatnot. Then you have the two Carnations. Um, really, really helpful when you're in a desperate situation. When your opponent controls a monster, you control none. Then you can activate this card and pretty much is like an auto rank 4 or whatnot. Then you have double Pot of Duality. You don't really special summon that much. So, so yeah, two is, two is good enough. And then next, you have two cards. Now, this card is really good in this deck. This card gives so much trouble to so many people, it's not even funny. You have to run these two cards if you're going to play Vujins. They don't, it just doesn't let your opponent play Yu-Gi-Oh. And then you have double MST, um, just for the back row hate. And the last of the spells, you have one Regeki. Onto the traps, you have double Mind Crush. Um, just a good card to have. And then double fiendish for effect negation is like the best trap card in the game. Also for just one of you have one bottomless, a rod, mirror force, on the morning, compulse, and vanities. So onto the side deck we have just general stuff like flying sea, vanities, fiends, double stygian dirge. I think that's how you say it. This card is really good. No, it gets BAs and stuff, and then you have Fairy Winds for your clean matchup and Mirror Force. Black Horn of Heaven, Trap, tri Curse Seal, and Qu uh, Spell Shattering Arrow. Uh, On to the extra deck, we have Double Susano. Um, I've never gone to a three. I barely even go into one, so, I mean, he's your main Bujenti monster. And then you have the one Kagasuchi, he's the big guy. And then the Tsukiyomi helps you um, dump cards from your hand for more draw power. So, yeah. And then you have one Tiger King, uh, search out tanky effect negate, er, to negate monster effects, whatnot. And then you have Constellar Omega. It's actually a really good card. Um, a lot of people uh, don't expect this coming. So, when your opponent plays a heavy back row deck, this guy can really come in handy and just annoy your opponents. Um, just general rank fours, you have Exiton, 101, Heartland, Cowboy, Starleaf Power Dynamo, you have two level four, or two level four light monsters, so he comes in handy, Ragnar Zero, Castell, Gaga Samurai to go for game, and Karagorn to, like, protect, like, Kaiser Coliseum and whatnot. 
So yeah, YouTube, that was the deck. Thank you for watching. And if you have any comments, please comment below and please subscribe. Hit the like button, share. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.